you want to see the paintings that you're going to get when you've finished this course. Now I've resisted doing this. I've resisted showing you these paintings because I'm worried it will give you the impression that this course is one of these normal courses where people say, I do this, therefore you do it too. And this course is not about that. It's the exact opposite. But I understand that you do want to see the subjects that we're going to create as you learn the techniques. But I really want to make it clear. I teach you these subjects and how to do them your way. So you will be making creative choices every step of the way. Don't worry, it's easy. It is easy. And I'll show you how to do that. So you choose the techniques and the combinations as we create these subjects together. Yes, you can, if you want, follow everything I do. But even then, the paintings will be yours. But this course is not about what I do. It's about me showing you how to do these subjects your way. And in doing that, you learn the techniques. But the thing is, you do need to see the subjects that we're going to work with as you learn the techniques through this course. And here are just three of them. Which techniques and which combinations are choices you will make? And I will teach you how to do that. It is easy. Don't worry, it is easy. Therefore, the subjects that you're seeing here are ones that I created in the course. Yours will be of the same type of subject, but your paintings could look very different from mine. And we won't know what they look like until you do them. So here are just three of the subjects that we work with in the course. And you would have seen or you can find it in the FAQ that we use a four stage painting structure. The reason for this is it's the best way to learn the techniques. So here is the first stage. This is called day one. It's rough and it's raw. Can you see that there's no way we're coloring in the subject here? This is advanced creativity. So this day one is a foundation. What we do then is we use techniques that engage with these day one techniques to develop the image artistically. It's really high powered creativity. It's a lot of fun and it is very, very easy. Now stages two and three are also foundations. We're not coloring in here. We're creating, we're molding and shaping and developing the image artistically, which means that stages two and three are each foundations for the next stage. We're always creating. You'll learn all about this. Then on stage four, we bring the painting home. And if we want, we can add some accents. So these are three of the subjects that we're creating. The first is a river scene, which gives you a big body of water and all of the myriad complications that occur when you can look into the water, when light and objects are reflected on the water. The only way to create that incredible complexity, that incredible visual complexity is by using advanced techniques. And we create a bush or forest scene, but not just a normal bush or forest scene. This one is struck through with light, shafts of light, a rich, luscious, moody forest. And speaking of mood, we take mood and atmosphere to a very advanced level in this next subject, which is our atmosphere scene. This is where the sea comes in through mist and it trickles in around great monoliths of rock. Hard, solid rock set in this salty, luminous atmosphere. A very advanced subject and the only way you can get the complexity and the mood and the feeling and the movement in this subject is by using advanced techniques. And again, I teach it to you and it is very, very easy. So there are just three images that we use in the course to learn the techniques. And that's what this course is about. It's about giving you the techniques and the combinations and you choose which techniques and which combinations so that you create the images in your style, your way, expressing your vision, your feeling, your mood, what it is that you want to create. 
So yes, you do get these three subjects at the end of the course as finished works of art. But they are taught to you in such a way that you learn the techniques, which means that you can create any subject you want, any way you want, for the rest of your creative life.